Hello friends, our case is we have normal excel table in matrix shape. I want to convert it to pivot table format, then pivot chart. So if I add rows and columns to the original table, the data will be changed automatically. I will use excel power query and indirectly excel pivot power. So let's start work. The first step, I want to have a cell contains the current file path and name, which I will use in the next steps. So I will create new sheet called options. To get the file full path, I have a formula equal cell file name. It will give me the full path of the file, the file name and sheet name. The path will be from the start of the text and before open parentheses. So I will use left function. You can review this formula later. The file name, it will be between the two parentheses. So I will use the med function. The current file, it will be concatenation between path and file name. Now I want to take this cell to the power query. I will select the cell, go to data, get data from table or range, it will convert this information to table inside our query. I have created a query called table2, which contains under column 2, the file name and path. I will select this value and go to transform, convert to list, and I will change the name to current file. So I have now something like variable, called current file. If I use it anywhere, it will give me current file name and path. To get the data from our Excel sheet to Power Query, we will go to Home, New Source, File, Excel. I will select the same file which currently using. Import. And select the sheet original which contains the data. Now I have all the information in the sheet. If I go to Write, I have steps in the query settings. If I go to previous step, which called source. By reading the formula, we will find that the file name and the path is written, which means that if I change the file name or file path, this query will give error. So I will replace the file name by the current file variable, which we have created. If the file location changed, the current file, it will be changed, and this query, it will be changed also. Inside the query original, the first step inside this table, I want to remove all the data after total. So let me make three steps first, and I will explain them. First, I will add new column from add column, custom column. Simple if column one, equal total then total else null no errors okay i have created this custom column let me move it to the begin of the query from right click move to the beginning for more clarity. If I right click on the column, I will find fill down. Fill down is doing what? If I have a null value, it will take the value of the previous cell. So if I make fill down, because there is nothing before these cells, it will be remaining null, but the other it will be total up to the end of the table. I will filter this column and remove total. And I can remove the column. Now we have limited the rows of the table. If you observe the columns after the total income expenses, you have also column with null value. 
So I want to remove them. But first, I want to transpose the table. Let me explain transpose before doing it. Transpose table means that change rows into columns and columns into rows. Let's see the final result. The first column here, which contains dates, item one, two, three, it will be converted into row, the same. And whatever in the rows, it will be converted into column. So I will go to transform, transpose. It will give me the same results. I will do the same method about removing the nulls by adding custom column, checking the total in column one, then fill down, filtering custom column by removing total, and remove the column. So I have limited also the column here. If you observe date, I have a date here, income, null, expenses. I want to put the date also in front of expenses. So I will make fill down. Let me here explain function called unpivot other column. Unpivot means return data under multiple column headers into single column but multiple rows, which means for this data, I will unpivot all the data except the first two columns. Under the data of February and the income, I have data for items under multiple column header. I want to return back to single column, means that the same fixed data about February and income and item one with its value. The same repeated the data fixed, item two, 7,000, and item four, 5,000 by neglecting the null value. So before unpivot, I will promote the first row as a header. So I will go to transform, use first row as a header. Second, I will select the two columns that I will not unpivot and go to unpivot, unpivot other column. It will give me the results. Let me explain also the next step. Pivot columns is vice versa and pivot. Let's take it from example. I have a data in multiple rows and I want to consolidate it in one row with multiple columns. Which means that in these two records, I have the same date, the same item, but I have two information about income and expenses with values. I want to do two columns with this header, like this is the date and the item. I have income, it will be for the column name and 500. And the same information, but expenses, it will be under another column. I will select the column which contain the header of the columns and go to transform, pivot column. I will use the data in value. I have a proper table. Date, let me change the name here, items, income and expenses. In the value, you have null values here. In Power Query, to make some calculation, the null, it will not be as zero. So I should replace the null with zero. I will select the two column, right click, Mouse, replace values. Null, replace with zero. Okay, let me create now the net column. Add column, custom, I will call it net, which simply income minus expenses. Let's now change the type of the column. Date, I will change it to, from home, I will change it to date type, date. Text is text, income, expenses, and net, I will change it to decimal number. Now the table is perfect. I will close it, file, close, and load. Returning back to Excel. Now let's open data, queries, and connections. 
you will find here the two tables that we have created. Right click on the original, load to. I will import data only connection, no need to make it as a table. And I will add this data to the data model. It will go to pivot power. Okay, let's delete the extra sheets. Let's open new sheet. I will close query and connections from invert pivot table pivot table. I will use pivot table based on use this worksheets data model. You will find here the original. The example I can take items in the value income expenses and net. Also I can insert pivot chart from data model from original date in the axis let me remove months as a value income expenses net in design change chart type combo income it would be in column expenses in column and net it will be in line okay now if i go to original and add new row it new columns i will go to sheet 2 here up to item 7 don't forget to save the sheet before any calculation mouse click refresh you will observe here it is item number eight and here extended up to end of august now the exercise is done enjoy automation